let's talk about motherhood, girls. First question. How do you see yourself as a mama? Oh, man. Do I even see myself as a mama? <laughs> that should be the first question. No, no. I do. I really do. I would love to be a mom one day. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's anywhere close because, let's face it, I don't even have like a, someone to help me with that currently. Um, but I would love to be a mom. I would love to have a kid. I think it's like the ultimate that you can yeah. do with your life. Yeah. You know, raise a child that's huge. I see myself as a creator, mm -hmm. right? As an actor, as an artist, we, we create for a living. And like the ultimate creation is a baby. So I, I know I definitely want one, but then I see myself at times where I'm like, this isn't mother-like qualities, right? <laughs> like you'll see yourself do something and you're like, God, if I had a kid, I would be so embarrassed right now. Yeah. But thank God I don't have a kid. <laughs> so it's eventually, give it a couple years. Yeah. You? <laughs> Silence in the studio. Silence of the lamb. Um, <laughs> it's something I struggle with every single day. <gasps> um, I think, I mean, I have to give, a, I, my, my friends always say this, you have to pass on those jeans, girl, those curls and that skin and all that stuff. Yeah, but easy for them to say they're not the one ha having the kid. Um, but no, uh, and like, you know, all jokes aside, I do struggle with the idea of being a mom because when you become a mom, my sister has told me this plenty of times, my mom herself, you have to be completely selfless because it's not about you anymore, it's about your child. Mm -hmm. And right now, I am extremely selfish with my time, I'm extremely self selfish with my emotions, I'm extremely selfish with a lot of things that I need to give up you know in order to be a mom um so again i would love to i think it's like you said it's one of the most important things that you can do yeah but do i want to don't know see i yeah. think i would get tired of being me 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 until when am i gonna do that you know yeah. until when am i gonna focus on my career or my goals or what i want like next step you know Maybe one day I'll just be like, this isn't about me anymore. Thank God. <laughs> it's about someone else. But yeah, yeah. That's it. but that's how you feel. A lot of people yeah. don't feel that way. Yeah. You know, and you have to uh, accept their feelings as oh, well. And we've gotten yeah. to a place, just in our society as a generation, this is the first time over the past 10 years, I have heard more women say, I don't want kids more than I've ever heard in my entire life when I was growing up and you hear your older sisters or your older aunts, you know, of course they're all gonna have kids. Mm -hmm. But now I hear it more often that people don't want to. Mm -hmm. And it's because we are becoming so independent mm -hmm. and we're all trying to figure out our individual self that we're so selfish. Mm -hmm. But I think it's healthy that you go through that phase. Right. And I, do, I also think it's healthy that you don't know. I think, I think a lot of it, what plays for me as well is that, you know, like, you guys know that my father walked away from my family when I was seven, yes. so I was forced to grow up, and I helped my mom raise my siblings. You know, I was an adult, a mom, when I was a child. Mm -hmm. So I, it's really hard, bro. Like, and that's the thing that they don't tell you. Like, I, I had kind of like almost a, a second tier experience of motherhood, and it was really hard. So I can imagine like moms, what you know, Lena's gonna tell us later, and all the other mamas. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So before we go, because we don't have much time, <gasps> let's just talk about what we have here. This is my mom. <laughs> yeah. So I know it's a bit weird. We were like, we were like walking around the station, my mom and I, and people were like, "What is that box?" And it's my mom, and people were, you know, a bit put off. But my mother passed away a few years ago. Um, I keep her right next to my bed, and I, you know, having her there in this physical form. For me, it helps. It reminds me that like I, I had a mother and just because she's gone doesn't mean that all of the things that she taught me disappeared as well. And it's mm -hmm. funny you mentioned your mother was a single mom and that idea of that pressure that our mothers ha had, it puts pressure on us. Yeah. yeah. And for me, it's like, I don't need no pressure. I got you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I hope no one finds it really weird. No, I yeah, think it's, it's great. Weird. I think it's yeah. great. I don't know. Has anyone ever all... seen ashes no, before? No, let's show, show Do you want to see? Sure. Okay, so when you get cremated, you get put into, like, ashes. And for me, my mom kind of looks like kitty litter. Oh, look at that. What's your mom? What was your mom's name? Her name is Lee Ying Oldham. Yeah. Welcome to Get It, Girl. Thank yeah. you, Mom. <laughs> I know. It's so brilliant. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna, let me, let me, uh, this is the last thing I'm going to say because you mentioned something really important. Um, your parents passed away, but the thing is that everything they taught you, you carry on with you, mm -hmm. so they would never leave you. Oh, yeah. They never, they never leave you. So, so there's something about mothers, man. Yeah, we'll do if, it. If I get to be a mom like my mom was to me one day, I'm golden. Yeah.